And there are two mods that every PC player needs to be using for Doom the Dark Ages. Mods that allow melee weapon switching, slow motion disabling, even skipping parts of the game that you may not want to see anymore. They've been public for a while, but I've been waiting for them to get updated to crush some bugs, and now they're ready to go. I'll tell you where to get them and how to install right here. First is Streamlined Campaign by the Legendary Prote. This mod doubles the dragon flight speed and gives the dragon one-shot kill projectiles. It doubles the swimming speed, making it feel much more natural, but the long swimming section at the beginning of the Cosmic Realm is completely cut, as is the walking section at the beginning of Resurrection, the opening tutorial stage of the first dragon level, and the opening berserk room in Harbor of Souls. Also gone are two of the three mech levels. Barrier Core is completely skipped, jumping from level 2 to level 4. The opening of Hellbreaker is skipped, going straight to the first on-the-ground fight. And while the last mech level isn't skipped, your damage is increased to 1000%, one-hit killing every titan, even the boss. The turret sections are not skipped, but Prote has blessed us with infinite charge bolts, which we can spam at the titan. If you want to try this mod, go to the end of the video for installation instructions. The second mod is Kybes Mod, an incredibly deep series of tools for the Dark Ages that allows for many ways to change the game. While we're waiting for the official option to modify slow-mo, you can do it through Kybes Mod, through four different values. You can turn it off completely or just reduce it like I do. I like the effect, I just want a little less. Under the speedrunning options, you can speed up interaction animations like weapon pickups and keys. Look how fast these are. You can also disable the boot up screens when you start the game, going straight to the title screen. My favorite aspect of this mod is the ability to switch melee and runes in real time instead of going into the menu. I'm able to scroll to the next or previous melee during combat. I swing the flail three times, then switch to the dread mace and start charging it up through parries. It feels great. Parry a projectile and build armor through ground fissure, and then flip to daggers and get huge damage. These two options bust the game wide open on a high level, and the cooldowns work the same way as they do through menu swapping, so it doesn't change the game balance. Kybes mod also allows for specific weapon class bindings, for all of you who want combat shotgun and super shotgun on different buttons. And there's an option for Doom Eternal switching, which disables the class swap action when pressing a weapon key. No more accidental class swaps, you are required to hit the class swap button. If you really want to mess with game balance, you can set new values to weapon swapping. There's a lot of cool ways to change the game, and the mod is seeing updates, so there's still more to come. If you want to install either of these mods, here's how you do it. For Kybes mod, follow the link in the video description to the Nexus mod page. Click on the File tab and just download the latest version. Open the game folder for the Dark Ages, which you can easily access by right-clicking the game on Steam and choosing Browse Local Files. Place the mod in the folder and extract the zipped files into the game folder. After that, all you have to do is open the game, and then when you're in the menu, hold the function key and press F8 to open the mod settings. Super easy, barely an inconvenience. Anytime you launch the game, you'll have access to this menu. For Prote's streamlined mod, follow the link in the video description, click on the file tab, and then download the file to the game folder. Do not extract the zip. Secondly, follow the Atlan mod loader link in the video description, scroll down to the bottom of the page, and download the mod loader zip. Put that zip into the game folder, extract the files, and now you will have a mods folder inside the game folder. Next, you're going to put the streamlined campaign zip into the mods folder. After you've done that, run the executable file Dark Ages Mod Manager. This is how you load and unload mods like this. You'll see Streamlined Campaign listed and selected, and you can go ahead and run the mod loader from here, which will install the mod and launch the game. From this point on, you can just open the game normally anytime you play, and the mod will be active. Alright, have fun!